Hello again, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to a highly anticipated game here on the channel, yet another city builder, and that one being banished. Good to see you all here, as this game, I think, is the inspiration for a lot of games, such as Foundation, Don of Man, and even, yes, Austria recently. So, let me know I got your support down below in that comment section. Glory to Raptoria, and show your support if you want to see more of Banished here on the channel. Today, we will start with episode one, and then we will get into more and more of the vanilla gameplay and if you want to see mods as well let me know down below in the comment section which one we should do which mods we should play with and if we should start our own modded series too and you guys can suggest mods down below in the comment section as well so welcome everybody one and all we have to do what is uh, very difficult here this is probably the most challenging city builder that I've ever played and it combines a lot of elements as the games I mentioned before Don a man with foraging and trying to survive against the elements a little bit of foundation because we'll have to lay out areas for people to cut down trees and look for stone and iron and then of course a little bit like Austri because we're in like the 1720s so welcome everybody good to see you all here for uh, what is going to be a new city let's go ahead and name it something we haven't before how about uh, Raptoria perfect and let's go with something like uh, map seed uh, 8675309 all right terrain size will be valleys or type size will be medium uh, climate fair disasters on starting conditions medium a medium game begins with five families clothing food firewood tools and construction materials are provided a storage barn has already been built some seeds for fields and orchards are available all right without further ado let's get started and everyone here we are in new 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 raptoria yes i know i'm excited too fantastic here we go let's take our first look at it and here we are fantastic look at that all right we'll get to the town in just a moment let's uh, take a little glance around looks like we got ourselves a big old lake connected by some rivers that seem to circle around a beautiful mountain with a valley in it as well so look at that we got two beautiful big lakes here and a nice area to expand our city to so without further ado let's get started right now all right, it's been a while since I played, so let's take a look around and see what our options are. I can remember a few things off the bat, such as our uh, very important menus here for professions and also basic statistics on the city. So we'll be assigning people some jobs here rather quickly, but before we even do any of that, we do need to build people homes before the winter, just like in Austria. So let's make a dirt road right here, and uh, we'll go ahead and make a quick road right there for people to build their homes on. And let's go ahead and designate some areas for homes. So let's get started right now with our first house. Ready? And... Let's see, is this going to be perfect? Hold on, let me see. Let me make sure. Got to make it perfect. You only get one impression, you know what I mean? Only one first impression. And boom, perfect. All right, our first house going down, second and third. I believe we need to build five houses because we started with five families. So we may as well just build five homes to meet that requirement. Now, just like in Foundation, just like in Don of Man, we need to do a little bit of uh, foraging for our food. And no better way to find food than in the forest where it's going to be ripe with onions and mushrooms and berries and things like that for our people to eat. So let's go to our food production menu and build ourselves a gatherer hut. The further away from the town we are, the better in most cases. Sometimes you don't want to be too far because obviously if they have to walk further, production is slower. But let's go ahead and put a gatherer's hut right here in order to bring in food for our people uh, for the next part of the year. Wherever we put it is fine. The people will just end up mining some of the things out of the way as they block. Now eventually these gatherer huts will be destroyed as we make way for more of the town and we can build some beautiful fishing docks down here and even a trading post over there would be a perfect opportunity and then of course we can also tell our people to start collecting stone and uh, moving things out of the woods. So stone is not going to destroy the forest too much so we're going to go ahead and remove some of that so that way we can store that over here for future buildings and our people are already getting to work so let's get them uh, assigned to being builders. We'll have uh I guess everybody become a builder first and get their homes constructed. Now, the biggest things to worry about in this game, of course, are things such as uh, natural disasters like fire. And eventually we can upgrade our homes from wood to be stone and that type of thing. But for now, we should be just fine as we fight our biggest enemy, Mother Nature. All right, looks like everybody needs a home, of course, but we also need food. So food and shelter are two main more, most important things. And I'll lay out some of the roads, too, which some of the workers can get to uh, when they have the time. Ooh, listen to that music. Ominous. Very cool. All right, let's build a road here. And we'll have something go that way into the woods for the gatherer hut over there. And then eventually we can clear cut this forest and start building farm fields, but we need to be able to survive the first winter. So just like in Ostrieve, look at that. Beautiful buildings being built. You can see the framework going up. And of course, even a little fireplace there. They'll put on the finishing touches of the siding and the roofs very soon. And they all should have a house very shortly. 
The roads still need to be built, even though you can see them, they're a little transparent. It seems like the construction personnel will just have to kind of work away a little bit at that. And we can see over here that we have firewood, which is different from logs. Logs is a building material, and firewood is something we need to keep our homes uh, warm throughout the whole year. So let's go ahead and build a uh, little woodcutter right here. Let's go ahead and build them there. And I'll build like a little tiny service road that just goes behind here. Kind of look cool, that kind of thing. Let's see, where's that road option? There it is. Now, it looks like we can also build stone roads. I'm assuming, though I can't remember, that that makes our people uh, run a little faster. Now, this is a new and an old game, meaning that it's new on the channel, but it is a game that's been out since 2014, 2015, and if you want to grab it, you can check Steam for it. There's also a ton of mods, and it is a game I've played before, though, with it being about maybe four, four or five plus years since I've even opened it up once. It's been a while. It's been a while. So, welcome back to me, I guess. Look at our beautiful homes getting constructed. Three of the five already done. People starting work on the roads, and the early spring rains are over. It's a little chilly, though. 49 degrees is current weather, and I believe that's in Fahrenheit. So, uh, yeah, if it was uh, Celsius, you'd think everybody would be running around naked. That'd be way too hot. But it looks like uh, Gatherer's Hut is going up first. And let's take a look around the map while everyone's working. I see a beautiful area down here for possibly a future quarry or mine. A wonderful area up here for a farm in the future. And then, of course, uh, more areas to hunt and gather. Ooh, speaking of hunting, that's another thing we can do, too. We might want to get on that as soon as possible. We'll build another hunting cabin as soon as we can. But each one of these Gatherer Huts employs three people, so we'll have at least six dedicated to that. In the upper left corner, we see the number of... Adults, students, and children. Right now, there's only 10 people who are qualified to work. Seven of them are a little too young, and nobody's in school, and it is our first year. You can see all the different building materials here, such as stored iron, tools, standard clothes, uh, textile, alcohol, food, firewood, logs, and other building materials. So that's going to be very important for us to kind of monitor as we go on here. All right, looks like all homes are completed. Every single person has a house, and our gather hut is ready to go. So let's take four workers away from this and assign them to gathering. All right, so I was mistaken. It's not three, it's four. So that'll be eight in total who will be dedicated to gathering. And it looks like we got our first problem, which is firewood. Okay, well, that's why we're building the wood cutter as soon as we can. It's a little chilly. I don't, I don't uh, blame these people for wanting wood up as soon as possible, but I'd rather go cold today than hungry tomorrow, to be honest. All right, things are going really nicely. we got a nice little area to build in, and eventually we'll start uh, expanding our city. Although we want to be careful about expanding too quickly, too early. If we do that, the forest will die, and then, of course, none of these little crops will grow underneath here. We're only going for stone, so things like mushrooms and berries and... Um, I think there's, like, roots and things that they can eat. Maybe, maybe they can find potatoes and things out in the wild. I don't know. But we did start with a bunch of potatoes, 600 to be precise. Mm -hmm. And it is distributed to some of these homes now. So that's pretty much all they have to eat. And logs is low. All right, so let's authorize some more cutting down of trees. Let's go ahead and harvest some trees that are leading down towards the... Let's make a little clearing for the uh, fishing huts eventually. Let's make an area here for a roadway. I'll authorize that. And anybody who is a laborer can go to work on that. And I believe if our people don't have something to do, like, for example, if there's not any building projects going on, they immediately become a laborer, so they start cutting down trees if there's no construction to be had. All right, Gatherer's Hut number one is producing food. Let's see if there's anything in storage yet. Doesn't seem like it, but they'll come in with some good vittles very soon for our wonderful people in our wonderful city. Let's go ahead and continue to build on some roads. It's good to build roads early. It helps you to maximize the space and figure out what you're going to do. And I believe one, two, three, four is the size of the home. So one, two three, four, and then we'll build a road like this. So we'll know exactly where our neighborhoods will be. It's also nice to build double roads. It just makes it easier to see everything going on in the city. And uh, maximizing space is always important in this game, but for these purposes, I want to be able to see everybody. And uh, look at that. Even some of the people are walking around, true Raptorians, walking around with a uh, yeah, pickaxe slung over the shoulder. Yeah, even the women are getting in on it. Go, ladies. Let's do it. You can do it. That's right. It doesn't matter who's doing the job so long as it gets done. Make make me proud. All right, one gatherer hut complete. The other one over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, you can see where they're clearing it out for the gatherer's hut. There we go. A little silly thing about this game is that they've already cut down some trees in order to make room for the gatherer's hut, but they don't leave the materials here. So that'd be nice 
Although there won't be any future updates, it would be nice that if 30 logs and 12 stone was required and you built in an area where those resources were there, that they just built with local materials. So they'll have to do this weird little thing where they bring them back and then bring them back again. Waste some time, but it's not the end of the world. Luckily, nobody's starving yet. I don't want to build any homes yet. I want to keep everybody under the same roofs so that way homes can be fit, uh, fed together. And you can see all the people who live here. Whoa, Teresa, 19. Fletchel, 16, with a 7 and 5 and a 6-year-old. Whoa, that means you guys were busy at age 10? Um, okay, I guess things were different back in 17-something, unless it's a brother and sister who are taking care of uh, their younger siblings. I don't know, that's the way we'll see it. Hey, check it out, here comes some of the food now. Excellent, grub's arrived. It's not Uber Eats, folks. It is uh, the last uh, meal, unless you die. It is going to be mushrooms, roots, and potatoes for dinner. All right, until we get a fishing dock up, but we don't have enough people to work all that stuff. Manual labor is incredibly important, so just like in Austria, we need a bigger population before we can do anything else. So Gather Hut 1 is bringing in a lot of good food, and Gather Hut 2 will do the same. I'm very proud of this, pe this great nation, I must say. All right, 64 degrees. I love this music, by the way. It doesn't seem too loud to me at the moment, but I, it's kind of one of those songs, too, by the way, in games where it's kind of quiet and ominous for a while and then it gets real loud all of a sudden but it seems okay for me maybe it fits the uh, character of what's going on here in the game all right the next construction projects are the gatherer's hut and the firewood what is it called again wood cutter for firewood so those are the things that remain let's go ahead and speed up time then so we can see a little bit more things get done here excellent more things being brought in by the gatherers that's good we're not too far away from them so we really we really got lucky here by having a forest off to either side. That's really good. Just beautiful. We can also build some bridges over to the other side as well. So when it comes time, we can start bringing in food from a greater distance. And it looks like we are low on stone. I have approved of stone mining with all these little uh, pickaxe marks here. So stone is coming in. Let's speed up time even further. And let's take a look at some of the jobs we can do in the game as well. Uh, we see things such as... Uh, well, buildings that we can build wells and schoolhouses, hospitals, town halls, and chapels. All the way up to uh, building wood camps and herbalists. I think we can also even build a forester, which regrows trees and can cut them down later. Taverns, tailors, mines, and quarries are other things that we can do. So that's going to be really cool. I don't think we can actually build any sort of military fortresses or castles or anything, at least in vanilla. But maybe that's something we can do in the modded age. That might be really cool. All right, looks like uh, six out of six builders. Looks like they're getting done over there at the old, the old gathering hut. Looks like they've cleared all the obstacles, eight out of eight. So now they're just delivering materials. Stone is done, so just need some logs to be delivered too, which, which is low. Okay, well I'll authorize some more trees to be cut down. Actually, it looks like our people are really cutting right straight through the forest. Nice job. We'll have to build a forester ASAP too, maybe over here, so that way we can keep this area forested, so we can keep gathering and uh, cutting down trees at the same time. Two birds with two stones, actually. Um, so it looks like this area is nicely cleared out. So we made a nice pathway to the uh, to the lake or the river. So that'll be perfect. And it looks like we need to assign somebody for cutting down, or cutting logs, or cutting, um, I guess, splitting logs. All right, let's go ahead and assign some more gatherers. Let's actually have one builder now. And let's have a gatherer and a woodcutter and one builder. Although I don't think we have anything else to build, do we? Well, we need some more people here. Uh, we'll eventually need to expand into hunting camps. I don't know if there's any deer around. Let's see. Oh dear, I don't see any. Um, well, they're definitely out there somewhere. Wild deer. Oh, there they are. Perfect. So if we build like a hunter's camp over here, possibly even up there, they do migrate. It will be just fine. So five homes are completed. Ten people plus ten children. So 20 people in total now living in the city. That's wonderful. Very small start, but at least nobody's starving. And we're approaching uh, autumn now. Looks like we're uh, probably going to get into late summer in just a moment or two. And then we'll be on to a, a deep, dark winter. Looks like we're probably needing a little bit more of every material. But people are so focused on getting food that uh, I guess that's more important. Let's go ahead and designate where we can cut down things in the future. Let's go ahead and let everyone know that they can get all the stone that they want. Go ahead. There you go. Go ahead and grab all the stone that you want around here. Looks like there's a nice big deposit of iron right next to our city. We got lucky with that. So go ahead and grab some of that. And they'll only do this if they're free. So we're okay. 
And I don't want to cut down too many trees, but we'll squeeze away a little bit of uh, land for the city here. And this gatherer hut is a little further away, so we're okay to just kind of cut a few off the side. And, of course, we don't want them to be too far away from the city. If I just simply build them up here, that's too far. It will take forever for those supplies to get back to base, and we would never have the uh, food that we need. Mushrooms, onions as well. Wonderful. Onions, potatoes, mushrooms, roots, and all that going in. We need to get our people some protein soon. Oh, luckily we got tons of stone. Excellent. Good job, everybody. And lots of firewood coming in, too. All right, it's now late summer, year one. We have uh, now 11 workers at our disposal. One laborer and one builder. I'm happy with that. And again, I think a builder defaults to a laborer. That's the behavior I've been seeing from our uh, people here today. So let's go ahead and build a dirt road there for yet another little uh, thing there. Maybe we can build a pathway back here. Yeah, let's go ahead and start building roads in these openings. There we go. Another big rain. Let's see if we can have this road circle over this way. So we'll connect some of our roads up. This will help with the future layout of the city. And I want to count five over again. What, uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, and then five is fine. One, three, four, and then five. Okay. So we should be able to build this way too. So we'll have a nicely close-knit neighborhood here. Looks like we now have another child who's become an adult. Two laborers. Keep cutting down those trees. Keep bringing in supplies. we got to make it through this first winter. we got to be able to do it. It's going to be tight. 200 323 roots, 278. Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff, but not enough. We still need more. Reserve of logs is low because we're cutting it for firewood. Keep it coming, folks. Keep it coming. All right, we've now entered early autumn. All the trees have changed color. Should be able to do this. Keep cutting down those trees. I'll authorize this area to be cut down. There we go. Looks like there's a nice hill there. We'll keep the gatherer kind of tucked into this small forest. Okay, looks like we got enough from the woodcutter. Let's go ahead and try to cut down... Go ahead and make 250 firewood. That way you can step away from doing that job for a little while. Still making a lot of uh, firewood from those logs, so it's very important to keep that coming in. Alright, people are coming into the city like crazy to bring stuff. Lots of things, lots of stuff. Two very important uh, resources are things and also stuff. What's the problem here? Materials required to... F oh, okay. He needs some more wood then. Alright, well let's go ahead and have him uh, quit for now. And let's have you just become a laborer. And now late autumn is here. If we would have went for farming, we would have been toast. We would have never gotten a fishing dock up. Good thing we went down for gathering. That would have been a rookie mistake, I think, to go any other way than gathering. So hopefully we can make it through the winter now. Let's take a look at the homes and see what they have in their inventory. Oh, lots of good things. And lots more things in the storage barn. We're lucky. All right, very good. Also, I could just put this building on. Is there a way to put this on pause? Ah, yes, we can turn it off for now. All right, so we don't really need any firewood at the moment. We've certainly got quite a bit in the stockpile there. And we'll go through that throughout the entire uh, winter. We're in late autumn now, so we'll probably need to turn that back on at some point. But I don't really want to cut out any more over that direction. We'll try to cut out down here along the, uh, along the lake. All right, good. Oops. And then we'll probably end up making a forest or maybe up here. Keeping the gatherers uh, nearby is a little bit more important. We need constant food more than we need constant uh, wood supply. Looks like the stockpile is getting very full. That looks to be like a... Is that a 5x6? Let's make another stockpile. Let's see here. Storage stockpile. That appears to be a 5x... 4x6. Okay. Where, where is it? 4x... 4x6. Okay. So we'll make another 4x6 next to it. And that'll be for more storage of firewood and... Uh, iron and any other things that are required. Let's build it over here. We can also build a boarding house at the, uh, at the start of the game, but you don't really need to do that. I think that, I remember doing that once and was just like, why do they have this? It provides temporary place for the homeless, so it's a quick and easy way to, to take in more people. Storage for log, stone, and iron is nearing capacity. 
All right, so it looks like we've built another uh, storage area just in time. There we go. All right, we've now entered the middle of winter. Our people have uh, hopefully plenty of firewood. Let's turn the construction back on. Or rather work for this. And let's go to woodcutter one out of one. And all the foresters are working. And one builder is working on the streets. Let's get the rest of this laid out. So you can kind of see what my plan is for the city. Wow, it's kind of funny. All these city builders lately have made this not as difficult. But I could imagine this being an extremely challenging game if you're playing it for your first time. Uh, reserve of firewood is low, so we'll go ahead and get that back to work. Looks like that person's already going. Good job. So bringing over the regular logs, putting them right up there, turning it right into firewood. Nice work. I actually remember in this game building quite a few of those, so firewood later in the game is going to be quite important, especially since we'll have wooden homes, which are a lot less uh, efficient with uh, insulation than a stone home. Nice benefit, if I hadn't mentioned already, stone homes don't catch fire as often as well, so... I don't think it's impossible, but it's less likely, and that's a good thing. Now, right, let's connect the rest of the roads here. So as you can see, this is probably about as big as the city's going to be for now. Three more homes here, so we'll probably build a total of uh, three, six, seven, maybe eight, nine, ten more homes when the time comes. Fifteen people in our uh, worker pool, our labor force. Builders one out of zero needed. So everyone right now is just clear-cutting the forest wherever I've asked them to, or bringing in iron. And that's probably not a bad idea to spend this early game with not a lot going on other than gathering food. Getting all the materials we'll need later for the blacksmith or for, um, whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and mine everything out. So we'll spend the first uh, couple of years just getting all the materials near us into storage. So right now I'm just selecting everything. Nearby, good. A little bit of a walk for some of these things. So long as we're not cl clear-cutting trees, we're okay. Alright. Well, we did it, everybody. We survived our first winter. Steam achievement complete. Early winter, or rather early spring. Actually, it was an early winter. Late uh, Around autumn, it started to snow pretty heavily, and we had a br pretty brutal winter. So let's go ahead and stay focused on the tasks at hand, which now is going to be uh, providing more food to our people and uh, getting more workers. So our labor force is growing. We're now at 15 rather than 10. So let's go ahead and try to do a new food production item. Let's go with a hunting cabin. Somewhere nearby, but not too far. And definitely in a wooded area. This might actually be the best place to put it. So let's go ahead and put it right here, right smack dab in the center of the forest. And uh, maybe we'll put another gatherer hut up here, too. There we go. Too bad we can't put it down a pizza hut. That would bring in a lot of food and a lot of flavor. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thanks for being here, folks. I'll be here all week, by the way, if you want to come on back. All right. There's deer down here, but I don't think we necessarily need to build that where the animals are. I think you can just build it anywhere in a forest and animals are just there. But uh, I could be wrong about that. In, un in any sense, I'm, not, I'm certainly not going to build it down there where eventually we're going to have like a downtown area. It would be a kind of a waste to build it now. All right, let's assign a few people to building. All right, now we've got five free hands for future projects such as the... Uh, as the uh, oh, actually, maybe we could do some fishing too. Although that requires four people, so maybe we can do that too. I don't want to go overstretch myself, but we do have four people who have to be uh, working at the... Or maybe it's three at the Hunter's Lodge. All right, a lot of things to clear here. A lot of stone, a lot of iron. That's just fine by me. It goes right into storage, and it's perfect for later. Boy, our people are sloppy. Look at that. Some things weren't even delivered. Maybe it was from overflow, but once you uh, build the stockyard, it should immediately be available for use. Anyway... Also, another big problem is building too many homes too quickly. Each home gets a certain amount of food, and so to have it th uh, spread thin is a bad, bad time. I've, we've all made those mistakes before where we've all died within 30 seconds and banished because of things like that. All right, I'm going to clean up some of these trees that I don't like their positioning on just to make the map look a little bit nicer when the time comes. I'm going for beauty and also functionality, I suppose. Even though it's been a very long time since I've done this, I'm probably doing everything horribly wrong, but so long as nobody's dead yet, we're okay. Famous last words. Wow, look at all the roots, onions, potatoes, mushrooms. Good job, everybody. Excellent work. By not cutting down those forests, we've saved ourselves some time. All right, looks like we can increase the fuel limit for the next year. Uh, well, we certainly don't have enough logs there. 
So let's keep working over here. You guys bring those logs on back over here. There we go. This is actually a sick beat. You can, like, freestyle this. Wow. It's like... My name's Raptor. Welcome to the next chapter. The city is gonna be a real disaster. You know, something like that. I can freestyle. I can, I can hang with the big cats, kitties. Alright, let's go. On to the next one. We got ourselves another road there. Another one. Perfect. <clears throat> then we just need to, uh... Let's see, do these two overlap? Wow, those are big areas. Then we just need to build our fishing dock down there. But we need more people in the labor pool. Look at that. Wow, we've almost got everybody an adult. Labor force is up to 17. Beautiful. All right, so now the hunting cabin is down. The foundation, at least. It's going to be a long walk, but they can bring back a ton of venison at any given time. And, of course, venison is baby cow. No, I'm just kidding. That's actually Beal. I was just seeing who was paying attention. I'm paying attention. Yes, you are. I was about to correct you. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and put a road down over this way. Just leading to the... Uh, we'll make a little individual road here. I wonder if they'll cut down anything on that path. Just one to the gatherer hut. And one to the... Uh, I wonder if they'll cut down anything in the way of that road. I hope so. That'll give us some extra materials and we'll look nice. Alright, 77 degrees. It is currently midsummer right now. 17 people uh, fully ready to become uh, adults. Time to move out of your parents' house there, Shastity, and become a uh, real grown woman at the ripe old age of 12. That's right. She's finally learned her ABCs and 123s, and now it's time to GTFO of Mom's house. We'll have to build another one at some point. But it's good to keep everyone together and close for now. They're easier to supply that way. As you can see, our total food is 3,345. So eventually we'll have to start building some more homes. All right, time for hunting. Good. All right, we have three available people for hunting. Good. That'll bring in a lot of extra food for us. So baby steps, baby steps. Don't get too far ahead of yourself in this game. It'll be death. Trust me. We can build another hunter's cabin, too. Although I don't want to do it too far away. We could probably do one maybe over here. Down here by the river. Might be a good area to find uh, animals. Yeah, it looks like one's running right across there. Okay. Well, I certainly don't want to run out of food, so to be extra safe, let's go ahead and go with another hunter's cabin over here. My, under, my only question is, can they cross the river if there's animals there? I don't know if it... If it actually animates the hunt, or if they just need to... Like, if an animal is within the circle, it just makes a magical production number, and then it's delivered by the employee after a certain amount of time. Speaking of which, here comes that venison. People, please take the road. Wow, look at that, 160 food. And we're almost getting full. The storage barn is actually almost full. Storage produced... Oh, wow, that's crazy. Good job, everybody. That is awesome. I am really impressed with that. Good job, everyone. Excellent. So let's see, should we build another storage barn, then? I think we might need to. Um, maybe we should build a storage barn. Oh, I don't know, actually. Um, well, we could put one over here for the future fisheries. I'm trying to say that five times fast. Actually, if we're going to put a trading dock over there, it might be a good idea to build one of these barns over here, too. Well, we just simply need more storage space. So let's do it. We can also take advantage of all that extra iron that we have, too. Look at all that. And we could start uh, becoming a blacksmith. We've only got 17 tools, so we should start becoming... We should make a blacksmith right now. It's going to be a very important thing. So a blacksmith, of course, takes um, iron and turns it into tools or weapons. In this case, it'll be tools. And also uh, requires, I believe, wood, right? Uh, used to create new tools from wood and iron, yeah. So we can actually use wood to fuel the fire there. And since we have plenty of that fuel, it'll be perfect. We'll need a forester then pretty soon uh, to continuously make sure we've got a supply of wood. So uh, I think maybe we'll put them over here. We're going to need more people, though. What are we up to? 17? With oh, somebody had a kid. Congratulations on your new little one. All right, let's build a forester lodge over here. And this is actually really good. We could probably put another gatherer over here until we start clear-cutting for uh, all of our new little farm fields and such. All right, what are we low on? Reserve of logs is low. All right, well, we're on that now. Let's go ahead and start clear-cutting again. Oh, didn't, <laughs> didn't want to do that. Music abruptly stops. All right, let's go ahead and harvest trees. And let's go ahead and harvest... Oh, boy. 
I kind of don't want to harvest anywhere. Well, we could. Uh, I don't want to harvest over there because that's where we're hunting. I guess maybe over here. It's a long walk, but gotta kind of stay away to make things look all right with the city. There we go. That's a long distance to go, but that'll be okay. We've got uh, three people as laborers. We need some more builders, though. So I guess we'll keep them as is. Plenty of firewood. That's good. So just need that forester's lodge to be completed. 32 logs to be delivered, plus 12 stone and some tools. So that's why we're making the tools now, too. Yeah, lots of trees required for this. I believe trees also grow back o after time, so we just need to uh, kind of just stay away from everything for a while. Let's go with harvesting a few more trees down here. I want the waterfront at least to be cleared. All right. So late autumn of the second year. Can we survive our second winter? Do we have enough material? Did we save up enough? Is everything okay? 71 venison. Looks like it's being eaten quite quickly. A lot of onions, a lot of other things. Venison, very good. Man, imagine that now. A, meat, a meal of venison, potatoes, and some onions. Sounds really good. Maybe some mushroom on the side. Those are just some really excellent flavors right there. Beautiful. Our people are really just doing an amazing job. I can't wait to fill out this entire map, too. We can definitely build a whole city around this river and lake. And then we can build some farms here and then uh, do a little bit more. For, maybe we can make a highway through our city, too. Who knows? An early age highway, a major road to connect everyone. All right, let's see. More builders required. Let's see the blacksmith get up and running. And then we'll also need to see... Oh, perfect. The storage barn. Oh, there's the rest of our food. All right, good. I was wondering, I was like, oh, we need some more delivered. Well, there it is. All right, we've got a huge abundance of food, so come on down to Crazy Dinos. We got ourselves a barbecue going on. We're going too soon. Excellent. Hunter's Cabin is doing its thing, bringing back meat and uh, the Forester's Lodge. It's good. We didn't build this thing too far out of town either, so it's still pretty close. But also, the fisheries are going to be rocking here in the next couple episodes, too. So we have 17 people in the labor pool. And five young children who are going to enter that soon enough. We'll get another person to become a blacksmith here very soon. And uh, let's go ahead and assign somebody right now to become a blacksmith. And uh, do we have to pick what they make? Oh, yes. Tool, iron. Yep. So they're making tools right now. Iron tools. Right. So up to 50. Perfect. So now we can continue on with making stuff all day. And uh, that should be perfect. All right. Let's take a look here at... Our uh, Forester building, that's the last one going up with two workers. We'll put those two to work on that until more people enter the labor pool. So right now we've successfully supplied every one of our citizens with everything required for them to succeed so far. All the clothes kind of came with them, but we do have all of the berries and food and uh, warmth to really sustain life in our city without people perishing. They will stay here until the last. And as I mentioned, if you have somebody working at a job that takes them all day to walk over here and they're starving, they'll die on the on the way to work. It's crazy. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, what's the problem? Materials required to perform are not available. Oh, probably some more uh, firewood, is it? Or iron? All you need is iron and log. Oh, it actually takes log and not firewood. Okay. So this person is still needing more wood. Well, that's why we got this Forester building going up. 44% complete. So we will see that completed in the next episode. So if you want to see more, let me know. And let me know you're excited to see more on the, on the channel. This has been awesome. So thank you for joining me for a real classic. And I can't wait to show you more of Banished. I'll see you all tomorrow for more. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. And click or tap that notification bell. And welcome to all the people clicking and tapping that join button to become a new member. You all take care. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Wow, it's what a mild winter. It's only raining. <laughs>